Hi guys and welcome to a new doll review video. Today I have with me a Koroporo doll. Uh, she's a full set artist doll and I got her at the last idol. She was uh, painted and make up on like eye ship wig and dress by a Japanese artist with a complicated name. And of course I put her card um, in a place where I was sure to have it when I make the doll video, which means it's lost. So um, I have absolutely no idea about her name anymore. It's Tarvis Ka something. Anyway, so uh, I got um, the doll at Idol. There was two artists actually uh, making those dolls. They are kind of rare. It's not like super uh, easy to find them. Um, normally you just have like the person who actually create the mold who has like the corporal dolls around and uh, there is several uh, molds, there is several sizes, there is like the little one and this is a big one and basically when you go there you just uh, take a blank doll or whatever the creator actually has but this time at the idol there was two artists who had full set dolls and I like this one, uh, I don't know, I think I think she was the one for me, so I got her. And I'm very happy. I wanted to have a Coroporo doll for a while, but every time, like, the artist, when he comes, he has, like, several blank heads, and sometimes he has one makeup head or one makeup faceplate or something. But I just wanted, you know, like, the full set thing, the all um, doll created. Um, I look at the picture and some I liked, but of course they were never on sales, so it was kind of difficult. So every time I went to the um, doll show or idol, and I was thinking, okay, this time maybe I'm gonna get a Coroporo doll. I need to really like check that out. So I would go there, like in the first place. When I arrive, I would do like the Azon thing, and I would pick up stuff for my friend, and I would just go to the Coroporo to just check out what was there and if I could get something and every time, like even for the body, she's on the Obitsu body but even for the body, the body was not, not so, like if you get it from the artist, it's not so together so you don't have like a full doll, you have to go like if I actually buy the face and the back of the head, I would have to go like find some eyes and find a wig and find a body and find the clothes and stuff and I. Since it's my first, I really didn't want to do that. So, uh, when I went to Idol and I actually saw that someone was actually selling them, and that was this big, huge Idol. I am, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. I have two videos because there was two day Idol. So on the first day, I went there and I checked out and the dolls were there and I was like looking at the, them and I was like, oh, I didn't actually plan to buy a doll. Like I didn't have the money to buy the doll. I had like plans to buy like some stuff for my frogs and I had some some little things but I never actually planned to buy a doll so I was there and like I was looking at them and looking and come going away and coming back and looking again and I was like oh I really like this one and so the next day uh, I came back and I had the money and I just uh, look at her and I'm like yeah she has to be mine so that's why I got her so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to zoom on her and show her to you from close up as usual so you're going to be able to see like her feature, what she's like and everything she comes with basically. So guys here is my Koroporo doll. This is her little face. As you can see um, she has quite a big head. So let's start at the top. So she comes with this um, wig but she's one of a kind so like you probably cannot get the exact same because she's a like artist made uh, one of a kind doll but she has like this uh, orange color it's kind of orange it has like yellow reflection when you put the light on it and I think it's like two shades of orange a little bit at the back so it's kind of a little brown orange style of color that she has it's like long at the back it has the, the bangs and it has like some sort of curl at the bottom, even at the back you can see it's coming up a little bit. It's pretty nice, it's really soft and it's like... It actually suits her face really well, I think. So uh, she seems to be in a sort of yellowish 
um, like she is the creator has like very white color of the sculpt like for the for the face but they also have like this sort of creamish yellowish color so I think that's that's what I got here and so if you like I'm glad let me zoom a little bit closer so you're going to see the face up around the eye. So she has like blush in orange color on her cheeks and she has like a darker line of orange below her eyes and she has small eyebrows like very close to the eyelid. It's almost on the eyelid basically. And she also has like small lashes in brown at the bottom. So a very very simple makeup, very very fa very very simple uh, style and nothing like excessive or spectacular. She looks very natural and she has a um, sort of pinkish orange mouth with a um, line uh, in brown at the mi in the middle between her lips and she has a little bit of blush on her nose as well brown uh, at the center so that's what she actually look like and she has brown eyes with like a lot of it's like very dark brown and it has a lot of little line of lighter color brown uh, like little dots to give kind of the shape of a real looking eye it's pretty nice and you can see so both eyes are kind of put at the toward the center so they look kind of crossing a little bit, like looking that way and that way. But it, it's kind of like make her look so more natural. I don't know. And it seems like the eyes are sort of following you around a little bit. And you can see the shape of the eyes is like sort of larger at the edge and going like a point here at the top instead of at the bottom like normal eye would be so it is a very a strange funny looking face and at the same time I think it's super cute and she also has big ears on the side of her face and the ears are also blushed by the artist so it looks pretty nice then she also came with this little dress so it's like white and beige striped dress with less at the bottom white color white around the sleeves she has like buttons at the front which are like fake buttons because you have clip buttons to put it on and off and then she has like this bow at the back so you can undo the bow it just attached like around it just uh, a normal bow, it doesn't actually attach anything, it's just like a decoration bow. And she comes with little white socks and sort of fake leathery shoes. Just plain shoes in brown and sort of the fit is black. So just kind of normal uh, style. So she's like kind of like the little girl. And she is on the obit to body. So basically you can get the head separately from the creator and put her on obit. So she has all the obit motions. So I haven't had like I don't have many obit doll. I have I think one completely obit doll, including the head, which I'm not really sure because I got her second hand and in the store so there was no nothing like written with her. And I also have, like, I bought one uh, Obitsubody wants to make it a doll by myself. And so that's all I have, like, with the Obitsu body. That's all. So we're going to have a look at the body. So she can move her arms all the way up, but you have to rotate them because if you just put them up here, it doesn't work. And she has motion here at the elbow. She has motion at the wrist, up and down, not that much, not as much as the elbow though. So just like a ball here, so it's just a rotation of the wrist. Uh, she has a joint, she has also a soft belly part, so she can actually bend pretty nicely. Uh, let's see, so complete slouch, she can touch her knees, 
with a nose and uh, so it is like really not uh, well oiled it's kind of rubbery at the the belly and like it feels sort of rubbery at the end too so it's kind of a rubbery um, sort of body so that's why you have all the thing and she has a uh, two parts so the torso and the belly are separated so you can make her like bent on the side i'm not even sure which which of it so it is so she can bend on the side and she can move her legs up uh completely up basically and they actually rotate they have a rotation motion um here and they can go on the side so she can have like spread completely and down and she can bend at the knee and in this position so that the further it goes because of the calf shape here so that the further it goes and she moves her ankle as well so basically that's it um see there is this squishy sound all the time so she has a wide range of motion and yeah she has a pretty cool body I don't know, yeah, I really don't know which, which of it it is, which number, like how, how many centimeter or whatever. I just bought the doll, just l like she was, and there was no indication or n nothing, so, yeah, basically. Um, but I think she's really cool, I'm really happy with her. Uh, I think I might actually get more from the same artist. Like both of the artists that were there uh, using the Corrupt doll were really really great. So I might get another one. She was on the cheapest scale. So like the other had like maybe extra pieces of clothes or that kind of thing. But I think she was really cool. And she also came with a Tupperware st style of box and a lot of like old paper inside. So she was really well protected when I bought her. So I just like. Yeah, she was she was pretty cool so anyway I'm pretty happy with her and I guess that's it for today guys um, I'm gonna go and take some pictures so guys I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about this doll do you like the corporal style of doll with like no smile and those big eyes she's kind of like um, blithe or pleat but her head is like kind of more proportionate to her body, like smaller head compared to her body. But I think she's kind of cute. And I'm not like the I think the body is a bit rubbery, but anyway. So let me know what you think about this doll uh in the comment section below. Have you ever like thought about Coropora doll or not? Or did you ever know about them? That's my first one. And I'm I'm thinking that maybe I'm gonna get some other like I kind of want a boy or something because you can also make them as boys so it's kind of cool so anyway let me know what you think about this doll in the comment section below do you have any other dolls that um, are kind of similar to Bryce or Polyp but not really like kind of like, like this one that you know about like there is a Lila doll and there, there are quite a few others so let me know um, about that like who is your favorite and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to have your notification. You give me a thumbs up if you like this video. See you next time for something else. And after another video, you do. Bye!